Hey everybody, this is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boobum Nixon Seven. This is my review for today. And today's review, ladies and dudes, well, to tell you the truth is that coming really soon in the spring or summer, I will do my two top five lists of my top five most strongest points of Ramin Karamu. My top five most forgotten unknown questions ever in the unknown questions history. And also, coming really soon, I will do my next movie reviews, but I'm not sure which movie review I want to do next. So, that will come later on in the springtime for March or April. But anyway, ladies and dudes, I want to do a brand new top five list for all of you. And this top five list is going to be about one of the most other favorite legendary characters that I enjoy in the best from a book, the movie, or a musical. So for my next top five list is going to be the top five best Jean Jean dudes of all time. And I want to let you know is that Jean Bon Jean is one of the best legendary characters of all time. One of the best main characters ever in for, from a book, a movie, or a musical history. And I love all sorts of Jean Bon Jean's for what I heard so far in the musical. I haven't studied the mo the ones from the movies, but there's only good two good actors I do like who did play the best Jean Bon Jean. But anyway, so without further ado, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my top five most favorite Jean Bon Jean dudes of all time. And let's get started at number five. And number five will have to be one of my most favorite actors and singers of all time who does have great passion. And so, for number five goes to the lovely Ramin Karamu. And yes, my friends, I still love him as the Phantom for both the Fan the Opera and Love Never Dies, but him as Jean Bon Jean, I think he did a pretty good job on it. He did have the tone, the personality, the attitude right for this character. I will say, out of all the Jean Bon Jean's I've seen so far, I will say that Rabin Karamu is definitely the most powerful and yet the most passionable one I have ever seen in my life since he had such a very cool, powerful voice. And his voice is so darn legendary in so many ways. So anyway, I decided to put Ramin Karamu at the number five spot. Okay, for number four will be the only actor who who had never sang. And he doesn't want to sing for the 1998 version of Les Miserables. Which actor I'm talking about? Anyway, for number four goes to the great and mighty Liam Neeson. And I will say, Liam Neeson did a pretty good job on his Jean Bon Jean. And I will say, of all the Jean Bon Jean's I've seen so far, I will say Liam Neeson Jean Bon Jean is the most different one I have ever seen in my life. Why is he so freaking different than all the other Jean Bon Jean's? Well, I'll tell you why. Because of two things. Yes, the first one is he never sang, and he doesn't want to, so it'll be too weird to see Liam Neeson singing a song in the musical version of Les Miserables, but I just love his acting for it. But for the second reason I really love Liam Neeson's Jean Bon Jean is that he is truly one of the most biggest bad A-word Jean Bon Jean's I have ever seen in my life. And I will never forget that clip that I saw when poor Faleen died, when she was coughing and she's out of breath and she's long gone. Jean Bon Jean was very heartbroken to see her in bed and um, he has no words to say when she died. And the uh, Chervet guy, whatever that dude's name is, He's going to handcuff him and take him back to prison. And then Jean Bon Jean turned around, put the handcuffs on that guy, and he banged his head twice. I mean, this is one of the most greatest 
cutest scenes I have ever seen in the 1998 version of Les Miserables. And Liam Neeson is truly a bad A-word John Bon John. He is so freaking awesome! And this is why he decided... I put him at the number four spot. Okay, for number three, we'll have to go to the guy who did his version of Jean Bon Jean in the 25th anniversary edition of Le Miserable. So for number three goes to Alfie Bone, uh, whatever his last name is. I really like Alfie. He's a, a really cool looking Jean Bon Jean. I'm one of the best middle-aged dudes I have ever seen in my life. I really love his personality. I love his attitude. Um, he's he's such a good-looking middle-aged dude with a large beard and a good mustache, and I love his brown hair. And I also enjoyed his version of Bring Him Home. I will say of all the Jean Bon Jones I've seen so far, I will say that Alfie Bone might be the most emotional Jean Bon Jean. Every time I hear him when he did bring him home, he's becoming very emotional. It looks like he's about to cry, and I do like a character who's kind of emotional, and he's thinking about somebody that he truly cares about. And that's why he deserves to be a little higher up on my list. So Alfie Bone goes to number three. Okay, for number two is, I've tried really, really hard to pronounce this guy's name, but overall he's one of the most legendary Sean Bon Joms that I enjoyed. And I will say this guy is definitely a lot better playing the main character for Les Miserables instead of, um when Michael Crawford played his version of the Phantom for the Fan of the Opera. And I guess you already know which dude I'm talking about. Who deserves to be the most legendary one of all? Number two goes to, uh, Com Coleman Wilkinson. Uh, it's hard to pronounce his name, but I need to practice his name. But overall, I do love this guy. He is one of the most greatest Jean Bon Jean dudes ever. I love his voice. He has the most powerful voice I have ever heard in my life. He is so darn strong. And he nailed his Jean Bon Jean character so darn well. I love his personality. I love his attitude. And I will say he's definitely the oldest and the wisest Jean Bon Jean dude I have ever seen in my life. And I will say that Coleman Wilkinson, whatever his name is, he did a fantastic job. And, and this is why he's definitely the most strongest point for the original London production of Les Miserables. I mean, I love this guy, and he nailed it so darn well. And this is why he deserves to be at number two. All right, ladies and dudes. Here is my number one best Jean Bon Jean dude of all time, and this one will may surprise you, shock you, or rather be impressed. And this dude, he is one of the best Jean Bon Jean dudes I have ever seen in my life in all of Les Miserables history. And this guy had nailed his Jean Bon Jean character so darn well. When I saw the 2012 version of Les Miserables. So anyway, the number one best Jean Bon Jean is Hugh Jackman. I mean, I freaking love this guy all the above from start to finish. I mean, Hugh Jackman did a fantastic job playing Jean Bon Jean. He is the best one out of all of them in my list. I love his personality. I love his attitude. I really love his good looks, his charm, his... He has such great passion, but I will say out of all the Jean Bon Jean characters, I 
added on this list all the dudes that I freaking enjoyed who did the best Jean Bon Jean. Hugh Jackman's Jean Bon Jean is the most spiritual and the most pure hearted character I have ever seen in my life. And I hope and pray, cross my fingers, if Hugh Jackman will ever get his first Oscar award for best actor. I just hope and pray he'll get it. I mean, Hugh Jackman is truly the man, and he deserves to be one of the best. So anyway, Hugh Jackman deserves to be the number one best Jean Bon Jean dude of all time. Hands down. Alright, ladies and dudes, that is it. That is my top five most favorite Jean Bon Jean dudes of all time. I hope you enjoy this list, and try to let me know what is your favorite Jean Bon Jean dude that you enjoy the best, from movies or just in the musical history. Leave a comment there and just let me know. I would love to hear your own opinions of which dude you like the best, who played the best Jean Bon Jean. So, that is my list. Let's hear yours. And join me next time. I hope and pray that I will do my top five most forgotten unknown questions of all time. So be prepared for that list to come, and I'll see you all later. Sayonara.